Hi everybody, thank you for watching. I'm so sorry I've been missing in action, but I promise I am back at it. I'm gonna be filming as many videos as possible to make up for some lost time. I got back from London on Sunday night, and ever since I've been back, I got sick. So, of course, between jet lag and getting sick, I just needed a couple days to myself. So I do apologize. Today I am back with a Kylie Jenner inspired makeup and outfit. I have wanted to do a Kylie Jenner inspired look for quite some time now and when I saw a look she had over the weekend I just so happened to have the same outfit in my wardrobe so I was like you know what I used to always do celebrity looks for less on my blog when I first started out so I figured let me do a affordable makeup look recreating the look that she had as well as show you a similar outfit option for I'm sure a lot less than what she paid for it so if you guys want to see how I got this celeb look for less please keep watching to prime my face, I'm using by Maybelline the Pore Eraser, and this is just going to mattify my skin. You'll see it instantly removes any of my pores as well. For foundation, I'm using also by Maybelline the Fit Me Foundation. This is very comparable to the MAC Studio Fix, so I'm loving this one. And then I'm blending in a little bit of Illuminator, and I'm applying that all over my face and blending in the foundation with my Damp Beauty Blender. contour I'm using by LA Girl the Pro Concealer in the color Beautiful Bronze and I'm applying a little bit on my hand first just to make sure there's not too much product and I'm just going to be outlining wherever I want to apply the cream contour on my face. I'm then going to start pushing the product into my skin. I'm using this brush by MAC and you just want to make sure it looks like there's no lines. We're going to have everything blend really seamlessly so just take your time with this step. So I may have put a little bit too much product on my forehead, but it's totally fine. Once I pressed it in a little bit, I'm grabbing a clean, larger foundation brush and I'm just going to start smoothing it out just so it lightens the darkness a little bit. And I'm also going to be using the same brush to blend in around my jawline and also blend down onto my neck. Because remember, we want our necks to match our faces. To blend in my nose, I'm just going to be using my fingers. I always find that blending with your fingers is going to get rid of a lot of the product, so it's going to keep it looking very natural. Kylie never really has too much of a contour going on on her nose, but I wanted to make mine smaller, so mine may be a little bit darker than she would have actually worn it. For concealer, I'm using the Dark Circle Eraser. This is one of my favorite drugstore concealers. I love how pigmented it is, and I'm blending that in with my Damp Beauty Blender as well. I'm applying some loose translucent powder just to set the concealer. I'm basically applying it everywhere that the concealer was. Moving on to brows, this product that I'm using is very affordable. It's not from the drugstore, but it's really just my go-to favorite one. This one is the Brow Bar To Go, and Kylie has a different shape eyebrow than me, so I tried making my arch a little bit closer to the center part of my eye, like how she has it. Of course, I can't transform my eyebrows, so feel free to do it however you like. With this pressed foundation powder, I'm just applying that all over my eyelids just to kind of mute out the color and just have it blend in with my eyes. She had a very natural look, but I think that's kind of signature for Kylie. She always has like the big eyes, pretty natural, nothing crazy on the eyes, the wing liner, and then of course the big matte lips. I'm picking up this brown shimmer shadow. It's by L'Oreal and I'm using a pencil brush to apply that on the outer V of my eye. I noticed it was a little bit smoky. She didn't post many pictures so it was kind of hard to see exactly what she was doing, but I'm just applying again a little bit on the outer V and then with a larger blending brush I'm blending a little bit of that color into the crease to really open up my eyes. 
So I'm also applying a little bit more of the same exact color underneath my lower lash line just to smoke it out a little bit. Next comes mascara and then I'm using a black eyeliner to line the inner waterline. For lashes, I'm using the Ardell Wispies. They're my go-to lash. They're super affordable, plus they look really natural and they just kind of make your eyes look a little bit bigger. And to contour, I'm using the new NYX Contour and Highlight Kit. I just got it last week and I actually really love it. It's the third time, maybe fourth time that I've used it and so far so good. So if any of you guys are on a budget and looking for a great kit, the NYX one is amazing. I believe I got it on Ulta website. I will definitely link everything for you guys. Next I'm grabbing the Sonia Kashuk Bronzer and Blush in One. I'm using the bronzer color to kind of sheen up my face a little bit. It's a beautiful bronze color and then the other side is a perfect peach colored blush. So I am just applying that with the same brush right on the apples of my cheeks. For lip liner, I'm using, I believe it's called Rock and Rose by Jordana. I will double check. It's the perfect dusty color and I'm overlining my lips extreme in this video just because I wanted to show you how I would do it. My lips are already big, but I know a lot of people want to learn how to overdraw your lips like Kylie Jenner does. So I just wanted to show you that you just kind of bite down on your own lips and then extend the line where it would normally be. Continue to fill it in and what you can also do is apply a light brown shadow with a blending brush and apply that right underneath your lower lip and it's going to give some shadows so again these are just some little tips that I wanted to share with you guys to make your lips look nice and plump for some they may look too big in this video but again I just wanted to share some quick techniques to make your lips look a little bit extra plumped and then to highlight I am using the lightest color in the NYX kit and it actually came out gorgeous I love the color of the highlight So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, you don't need to go out and spend so much money on these high-end products. You can get the exact same look for less with some of the products that I use in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Soles of your feet I've got blisters from running On beaches and streets I've been knocked down and out I've got eyes black and blue Cause I'm hitting the face When I'm talking to you And oh, don't lie down As soon as I sleep